All right, I don't wanna overhype this video, but this will be the ultimate video to solve all of your significant figure problems. As a student who has just finished taking honors chem in high school, I'll tell you right now that if you can understand this concept early in the year, you will find yourself easily at the top of your class. So without further ado, let's get into it. A significant figure is an idea that helps you keep track of all the numbers that you sitting there calculating out for hours on end can think of it as a fancier version of rounding numbers. Just to be clear, this concept isn't exactly affiliated with rounding numbers, but I find that if you think about it that way, it's much easier to approach. Okay, so what significant figures mainly deal with is the number zero and where the number zero falls within the number that you have calculated. And for the sake of understanding it, I'm going to tell you what the kind of zeros are called, but all you've gotta know is what the placement of the zero means. The names are really only good for tests. Okay, the first one to tackle is leading zeros. If I gave you the number 0 0.123, then the zero would not count. The same would apply if I gave you the number 0.00123. The zeros don't count towards the overall number of significant figures. I suppose you could also get the number 0, 1, 2, 3, and in this instance the zero would also not apply because it's leading the number without a break of a number that has a value of 1 or greater. The next to go over are trailing zeros. An example of this would be 1230 with the decimal place at the end. With the zero at the end of this number, it does count towards the overall number of sig figs, adding up to being 4. Now this idea translates over to decimals as well, where 123.0 has a zero at the end which also counts to being 4 sig figs. And this idea can go on for as long as you want, to where if you had the number 123,000.00, every single one of those zeros would count. Now here is where the monkey wrench comes in. If there's no decimal place within the number, like we're using the first example of 1,230, but without the decimal place, the significant figures within the number drop down to three. And it could be 123 million, and it would still only have three significant figures. So you just wanna be really careful and look out for that dot that would turn the number into a decimal. The last one to look at is a breaking zero. I'm gonna be honest with you here, I have absolutely no idea what it's actually called, but the idea is that a zero that breaks apart numbers that are one or greater, such as 1,023. This number would have four significant figures. Another tricky example would be 10,203, and that number has five significant figures. Okay, now that you hopefully understand what all these zeros are, let's throw in a mix of all three kinds of zeros and see how well you do. Let's first look at 0 0.4506. How many significant figures are there? Now let's approach this number from the front to the back. It has a zero at the beginning, so that would be a leading zero that has no significant value. Next, we have a zero that breaks up a number. This zero is significant. So in total, this number has four significant figures. Our next example is 8,900. Once again, let's look at it from the front to the back. It has no leading zeros and no breaking zeros, but it does have trailing zeros. And upon further inspection, there are no decimal points. And that would give this number only two significant figures. Let's take a look at something that you might encounter under normal circumstances. Let's say that you walk around and you pull some change out of your pocket and you discover it's $20.25. Now as a decimal, that would make 20.25, which is four significant figures. But if you go ahead and toss the change, then you would just have $20 right on the dot. And that would give you only one significant figure because the trailing zero doesn't involve a decimal place. Our last example is one that I'd use all the time, which is a mix of scientific notation alongside significant figures. So how many sig figs would 4.90 times 10 to the power of two have? The way I like to approach this is just to pretend that the whole 10 to the power of whatever just doesn't exist in the first place, and then look straight at the number itself. So now it's only 4.90, and there are only trailing zeros in this example, and has a decimal place within the number, which means that the zero would be significant, giving this number 
three sig figs. Now this idea gets a little bit stranger when going over significant figures with multiplication and division versus addition and subtraction. And if you would like me to make a video on that, then let me know down in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.